his, uh, I took him back to him, you know, the guy that made them, and uh, he started, I thought he was going to remold them and stuff. And uh -huh. He uh, looked at mine and he cut the, pa the patch out the same size as I made mine. Uh -huh. <laughs> and folded her a new pair over top of that. That's funny. So, I said, I did all the work. I said, you have to pay me for that. Right. Yeah. Now hand me that check. Well, I used to have to tell people what kind of tennis she used to buy. And if I pronated or supinated her. Mm-hmm. So I got pretty good at that. I'm sure. I went to a Nike school. So uh huh. They used to have those. They don't. I don't like they even do it anymore. Nikes are usually terrible. Yeah, they used to be real good. Yeah. And then they, you know, like everything else, they started to streamline and that. And cut corners. Yeah. I dealt with New Balance and Nike and mm -hmm. Asics and Punis and <laughs> so you know Rock all about them. And so what's your favorite brand of athletic shoe? Uh, well, right now I do Nikes because they get a wider, you know. Toe box. Yeah. New Balance are usually the ones I can find that are super wide. Yeah, that's uh, one good thing about that. Uh, Mail place was they were real careful and it was the same way they did them all the time. Yeah, and they really start to learn your feet. And yeah. I didn't like it. She had her daughter do that one time and I was just like nervous. Yeah. It's hard when somebody new touches your feet. Yeah. I'm not too bad. Like the best I ever had done was that. Uh, I went to Marco Island in Florida to a nail salon there. Uh huh. And, uh, Course, they took so much care that she was in there about an hour and a half. Oh wow. See, I'm so impatient. Yeah. Well, they were all kidding around with me. And, uh, I think that was part of them taking so long, too. But. Yeah. Well, you seem like a pretty easygoing guy, so. Yeah. Well, I deal with the uh, kids all the time and, uh -huh. and animals. So. Mm -hmm. so you have to be patient. I'm humping that one. So. Yeah. It's just getting a little bit more pressure. If I find anything that looks funny when I trim it, I'll let you know. It definitely makes you feel better when your toenails are clipped. Well, these are about a month overdue. Yeah. Like I said, I went over there twice and they were closed both times. And that's a pretty good drive. It's like 12 miles over there to mm -hmm. where I used to get them done. So. To go over there, they might be open. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Wasted trip. So. Right. Well, I used to live over on the south side of town. Uh huh. And I had a six bedroom house. And oh my goodness. Didn't, didn't need it anymore. Right. Because of all the kids had moved out. You know. Mm hmm. Well, this young lady here and I both drive about an hour mm -hmm. each day to get here. Well, she lives north of here and I live south of here. Yeah. So, Where do you live? I live in Mount Vernon and she lives near Red River Gorge. Yeah. That's a good area. I love I, it. Up there, rock climbing. Yeah, yeah, that's why we moved there. We're rock climbers. Yeah. One of my friends, uh, I forgot the name of the little tea cat there, but he's the only one that's ever climbed it. You're kidding. That's yeah, so cool. Up, There's so many of them out there. It's a, it's a big ledge and everybody tries to go underneath the bottom of it and over the top. And he's the only one that's really succeeded. You know, wow. A lot of people have been injured on it. But. Wow. That's pretty cool. So, but, uh, he teaches rock climbing and mountain climbing. He lives in Bozeman, Montana. Oh, cool. nice. <laughs> I could turn it on. I thought you needed a recharge. I know. <laughs> it sounded like a weed eater. Mm. You're a cinematographer. How are his Good. Well, I photographed sports farms and stuff too. Oh, yeah? Cool. Yeah. Nice. You were like the jack of all trades. No kidding. Yeah, I did. Pretty cool. Uh, 